Yo, it's Ryan, Smart Web Tutor. What's going on? I'm back again. Today, I'm going to bring you another episode of Thursday Night Live from my internet marketing show, Facebook group. All right. Every week I go live in the Facebook group. It's called the Internet Marketing Show, right? Everything about internet marketing, whether you're a local business, an affiliate marketer, um, network marketer, e-commerce, whatever you're doing, right? It's all about that stuff. Mainly the topics center around selling your product online and how to get eyeballs on your offers, right? And this episode number two of the internet marketing show was called surveying the marketing land, right? Surveying. We're just checking everything out. We want to get a good view, bird's eye view of what's going on in our market, right? And what we need to do in order to assess whether we want to get involved in that niche or that marketplace, right? Oftentimes, what we'll do is we'll jump into something because we just think it might be good. But unfortunately, those times can be a little bit tricky because you might get into something and there might not be enough people to like really market your product. Other times, even those small niche down markets can be pretty active, you know, you, and you can easily target the ones that are looking for your information. So anyway, I just wanted to give a little brief intro and just let you know that each week or every couple of weeks, I'll be bringing you another episode of the Internet Marketing Show Thursday Night Live here on YouTube so that you too can enjoy it. And if you like what you're seeing here, then you can come and take a look at the Internet Marketing Show on Facebook. It's a group and it's just a private group. So I'm asking you to sign up, come on in and enjoy the shows along with other things I put in the group. All right. So we would love to see you over there. Take a look. Internet marketing show. Simple as that. You'll see my picture and uh, with a nice banner and we'd be glad to have you in there. So just hold on to your horses. We'll get on over to this show as we start right now. I think we're live. It's Ryan. Let's take a look at this thing. It's just spinning. So, yeah, we're live. I think we're live. It looks like we are. It's Ryan. Hey, man, look at this. Take a look. I got myself all dabbied up. Got myself my sleek new haircut. We're all set. Um, yeah, I did this by myself. What do you think? It's not the topic of this uh, show tonight, but... Uh, uh, I did it. Anyway, um, thanks for joining me. Thanks for coming to the Internet Marketing Climb group and uh, participating in my live Thursday night lives. And um, I'm just really happy that you're here. And um, tonight's topic is surveying the marketing land, surveying the marketing land like, like this. We're just going to take a look around. We're going to look around, right? This is the topic is important because there's a lot of things to think about as you get enter the marketing arena or if even if you're part of the marketing online you just it's important to take a step back take a look at what you got going on in front of you you know back in the day now they're still doing it but back in the day they called this thing the lay of the land getting the lay of the land like when you enter a room you take a look around. You take a look around to all the different things that are going on around. You know, you find the person that invited you. You see somebody else that you know. You you find out where the the bar is. You you find out where the the bathroom is. You know, if you're in the, like a big ballroom or something like that. You you're you're taking a look around just to assess the terrain, to assess the room, to assess what's going on in front of you, right? When we get involved online, we're um, constantly getting bombarded with new terrains, with new ideas, with new concepts, with new tools, with new uh, ways of marketing yourself online. And it's easy to get very confused. 
So that's why you, you know, you have to have this map. You have to have an idea about what you want to do. So that's what's, you know, you know, surveying the marketing land is all about. Last week we did the, um, last week we did the uh, defragment your marketing mind. You know, you know, getting clear on what's going on in, in, uh, in, in, in your marketing plan. And just defragmenting, getting clear, moving out all the excess stuff, you know. So now, after we've gotten done kind of decluttering, getting rid, and then putting in a new program, the idea about what you want to do um, online, now we're going to survey the marketing terrain, right? Survey the marketing land and get out there with your scope and, like, really get down to the, the, the nitty-gritty understanding how far it is out there, uh, how high this little thing is, what this is all about over there. And, you know, this isn't very easy because as soon as you, like, start jotting down some notes, then something else is sent to you, something else is, you know, being brought to you that now you're going to have to make some adjustments, right? So, like, on this on, on a surveying, um, you know, scope, there's, a, there's these little adjustments, they're little tweaks, like uh, uh, they, just a little bit will make the the scope go a little bit right, or maybe it make a little bit make it go a little bit left. You know, you need it to go up a little bit further, so you just tweak it a little bit more, right? So it's kind of like a, a marketing GPS. You know, when, when you're you know like when you're in your car, you have your if you have a GPS, you in order to get to one location or to destination. First, you have to know the car, the GPS, has to know where you're starting. So it'll have you at this spot, and then when you type in the place that you want to go, then it will be able to give you a road map, a way to get there. So um, this is the same way with um, your marketing online. You need this GPS. It's a, it's a map that shows out your destination it shows you the plan about the steps to get there and how it's going to be be done because otherwise what's going to happen is you're going to be going through like zigzags and, and and you'll be going through like a labyrinth this labyrinth you'll be going through you'll get to there and then boom you hit into a wall right and then you're like oh shoot i took the wrong turn but you see you don't know where that wrong turn was so you got to go back and then you're like how how did i get here you know how did I find this place? And, you know, you may end up just getting even more lost. So you thought you knew the way back, but you forgot to leave the breadcrumbs. You forgot to leave where you, you knew you were before. So when it comes to marketing online, what will happen is, is you'll start saying, oh, I, I see it now. I got this clear picture about where I want to go. Right, and then all of a sudden, somebody a new email will come in, some from in your inbox from somebody else that you you logged, you, I mean you subscribed to a, a week earlier, and they'll be like, "Oh, you can't miss this, and you got to get on this training." And then you're like, "Oh yeah, man, that sounds right." So you get on that training, and then all of a sudden you forget about this uh, like plan that you had over here, and then then all of a sudden another then they'll. You, maybe you buy the product that's on that webinar or you uh, invest more time into tr more training about what they're talking about on that webinar. And, um, you know, by this time, you just totally forgot about what you were going to do in this last segment of your in your marketing plan, right? You're like, oh, man, what was that? And what tool was I using? And uh, who was teaching it? And uh, what platform was I going to use and what uh, this and that and etc etc right we're, we're uh, continuously getting bombarded so without this plan without this real plan about how to get from uh, from A to B or A to Z you um, you're not going to get there you're just going to get lost and you're going to get more confused right so it's being able to survey so at this point what we're doing is we're looking at what we have right we 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 know we got this we know we got these tools we know we got this type of training and now we need to look out and we need to see where we're going to go with it 
We're going to need to see if this is what I want to do. We're going to see if this is this, uh, these are the people that I want to serve. You're going to see what, uh, um, you know, what tools you're going to use to do it. And then you're going to look at the pathways to get there, right? So then your next steps are then using those things, creating content, all these different things. So if you allow more distractions to come in, then you will end up getting lost and, and forget about that plan, right? So that's why it's good to have this GPS, this plan, uh, a route to get where you want to go. And then you also need to know the terrain, right? You need to know that when you get to this one corner, this corner is really steep. It's a really steep turn. It's a really steep turn to the right. And you don't want to spin out when you get there, right? So you need to slow down when you go around this this really steep sharp turn and um, otherwise you end up spinning out or like going off the cliff right and then you're really you're really messed up and then when you're going now you're going on a long straightaway and you're cruising right you can put it on cruise control and you're going and you're like oh well I, I know there's a turn coming up pretty soon it's a left hand turn and this one's not as steep but I know I need to turn left pretty soon so you you, you take off the cruise control you put on your brake a little bit and there you go there's around that turn it's a nice easy turn it's a cool turn and then you uh you're, you're cruising and you're cruising and you're cruising and you finally get to that destination you had the plan you had the tools you had the vehicle to get there and you, uh, you you got to your destination um these things can get really tricky and you without that plan or without those people helping you get to where you need to go you can get really distracted and um, again I'm repeating myself because this is important because I think that most of the people I've dealt with online including myself for years I was getting distracted by so, by so many different methods people and I, you know it's it was important to to learn this lesson because there has been so many different plans laid in front of me and I didn't know how to implement these different plans. I didn't even have time to go through the plan to see if it was something that would work for me. It was because I was so busy, like looking at the different plans, the different things, like whether it was it like years ago, you know, the Periscope and the, the different things, and you have Pinterest and Twitter and uh, Facebook, and you got the in, um, LinkedIn and. Uh, Instagram and uh, TikTok, you got all these different things, and it can be daunting, right? So it's better to just pick some things, you know, get yourself clear on where you want, what you want to use, and where you want to go. Okay. So the final thing I want to talk about with you tonight is uh, where are you at, right? What does your situation look like? This is vital, right? Not only are you looking out there to see what's available, what's the terrain looking like, you gotta look at what's your terrain looking like. What is your internal terrain? What's your mindset on what you wanna do? Are you feeling good about your decision, about your uh, your niche or your um, product that you wanna represent? Um, you know, what does that look like? What does your surroundings look like? You know, are you, full of, is, is your surroundings full of mess and clutter and um, you know uh, your inbox of your um, your email inbox is just just plastered full of more offers and more people trying to get your attention and get you distracted from your um, studies and get you distracted from doing your things that you need to get done like if if you're you know, continuously posting or making videos or doing something like that, then you got to look at what those things, those distractions are, and you need to start, you know, cutting them out. That's what I was talking about last week with decluttering, you know, getting rid of some of these things that you know are, um, you know, that you know they're getting in your way. So um, you, you may end up... It, it, I know it's hard sometimes to like unsubscribe from some different people because maybe you bought one of their products, it was maybe a tool, and you you keep their email open for um, just for the fact that they might be sending you some 
updates about this tool and you don't want to miss any critical updates um, what you need to do maybe then is then open up a new email account and um, you know transfer those emails over into that account or the new the, and just for the important things like your um, your main training and the main tool you use and the and the, this the, the certain group that you're in those are the only emails that you get because those are the only things that are really important for your you know advancement of your marketing online is to use these different things get that those important updates the other ones you can go into like maybe down at the bottom of your email they'll have they'll have a managed subscription and you can go in there and you can uh, just uh, change the email so that those emails now get uh, routed over to another email inbox or if you have something like me I have Microsoft Office uh, 365 and um, I have several emails that are in there and what I do is I might do a rule so when I get an email from so and so it goes into another inbox I mean another box inside my folders and then I, at some other time I could go in there and just see if there was anything that came about or if uh, I heard that there was an update I could go look in that for us uh, do a search for that email and get uh, get clear on what was the update and then get that uh, software done or whatever it may be so now what you're doing is you're simplifying your life you're decluttering and and uh, then you know is there a clear highway a clear plan right you know we talked about the GPS and um, you may take you can use a GPS and that GPS may take you on the the simplest easiest path right but then there's other routes to get to where you want to go but those routes may not be the easiest right you may have to go up a high uh, in, incline um, over a hill to get to this place or you may have to you may get uh, out into the boondocks and um, you know it might be a nice country road and all that but it takes you three more hours to get to the place that you wanted to go um, you know it took you more gas um, you, you saw some nice sights it was fun and all but you didn't get to where you needed to go on time right these people that were waiting for you they're like where you been we've been waiting for you you know it took you so long and you're like yeah I know we just got lost or you know we went to we went the scenic route well if you're trying to get somewhere you need to take the clearest plan of attack the clearest highway the clearest plan to where you want to go now if you've been working online for a while and if you've been or you just you're getting started online you've been uh, online for just a little bit and you're finding that these things are happening with you I totally understand it's it's almost like designed this way that you're gonna end up finding yourself confused and uh, overwhelmed right and that's why I help internet marketers or you know I help uh, aspiring marketers um, you know get out of that info overload and shiny object syndrome you know I it was a it was plaguing me for years and there's still times where it's like trying to creep back up and I'm like hey yeah I can't do that right now I got other things I got to get done so um, you know if you got some uh, if you have any type of feelings about that if it's something that hits home with you you know I'd love for you to uh, reach out to me you know send me a message in here or uh, you know in the in the chat yeah go ahead and uh, say um, you know get clear or something like that clear right C L E A R clear and then and raise your hand put a little hand up and uh, you know I could reach out to you and just you know we could talk about things we can get on a little call and find out what it is that's causing you to have these um, same problems that most people that come online have info overload you know totally confused shiny object syndrome you want to get all these things right every single thing that comes out that's new and improved or new and exciting you want to get in your arsenal you know you got this tool belt that you have that you're carrying around your waist for years and years that have all these great tools in it but you don't have any jobs 
So what's the good, all these tools? You're like, oh, well, I can at least do something at home. Well, that's like what every, you know, several months or something like that. But what you want is you want this tool belt that's going to help you get to your job and do your job well daily, right? So, again, if this is ringing, ringing a bell for you, if this is you know, something that you've been dealing with for a while, you know, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. And just remember that in order to be successful online, you need to need to survey. You need to survey the marketing land. You need to survey the place that you're going. You know, take a good look and just look at what you got ahead of you. You know, don't let that you know stop you from going forward. Sometimes that terrain looks a little rough, and it can uh, hold you back. And you don't want to be in the place where you get scared or you get intimidated by this terrain. That's why you you assess the terrain first so that you can know. Uh, one other thing that I wanted to think of, something that just came up for me. And uh, it's um, it's just an, it's in sports, you know. Um, when uh, professional golfers are going to play a course, they walk the whole course before they even play. They go and they look at all the different things. They look at where the, the sand pits are. They look at where there might be like some uh, like obstacle, some rocks, some bushes, some deeper grass. They take notes. They, they go around with their caddy. They're taking notes. They're like, you know what, if we come around here, if we make a sharp turn there, then we're going to have a better uh, shot at the hole. Right. Then they look at the green and they find out where the hole placement is. And they and they now they they know that uh, in order to get to there, they have to come and they got to hit the ball on this side of the green and the ball will roll over to that side in order to get closer to the hole. They're planning when a downhill skier is going on this downhill they're going to be going really fast, right? They need to have this sharp focus about all the different places. They need to know where the track is a little bit more icy or the slope is a little more icy. They need to know where there's a little bit more powder where it could get loose, right? They need to know um, where there's that big hill that they're having troubles with so that they don't launch themselves too far and like, like lose control. Um, uh, and while you can just see them at the beginning, of the clock ticks to zero and they're ready to go out the gates to get down the, the thing. You could see them just visualizing the slope and going and, and, and going around the turns and, and moving and weaving and, and, and here they go. There's that turn. They know that thing by heart. They know exactly where they're going, right? And they know where the finish line is. So let's uh, figure out where your finish line is. First, we've got to know where you're starting, and then we can, fin we can look at where you're going. All right, so this is Ryan. Thanks for joining me here on Thursday Night Lives inside the Internet Marketing Climb Group. This is where you go from zero to hero, and you learn how to navigate this sometimes tricky terrain. All right. Thanks for joining me. Oh, hey, yo, it's Anthony. What's up, bro? Hey, man. Thanks for joining me tonight. Uh, where was I gone? Did I uh, did I get kicked off? I hope not. I had some good nuggets there, and uh, uh, I didn't see you pop up there. I was so concentrating. Maybe you popped up when I was doing my little visualization. I'm gonna give you a like. There it is. Yeah, Anthony's one of my marketing buddies over in another group. We uh, we uh, we have some common themes that we love to we love to uh, celebrate with each other. And uh, you know, we're the, I, I call him one of my wonder twins. Um, he uh, he's a brother from another mother, and uh, I appreciate you for being here and celebrating with me. Um, were you asking what the starting point? is from the the thing or the the topic well uh, if you didn't hear it was just uh, we were talking about the uh, surveying the marketing land right sorry yeah maybe my internet was having some troubles or whatever or Facebook but um, we're just surveying the marketing land and just getting a 
a view of what's going on, you know, just like, um, you know, the, the old uh, surveyors of the day that were going out into new territories. They're coming out west and they had to get out their, their surveying tools and map it out, you know, find out where all the, the, the rivers were. They had to find out where all the, the you know, the, the, rocky, the rocky areas were where they could get solid ground, where they could build their cabins, you know. So this is the same thing with marketing online. You know, you got to take a look at what's going on out there. You got to look at see all, what you, all you have, all the tools that you have, and you got to look at the terrain and see what, what, what what's coming ahead. Because you don't want to go out and go around some quick turns and spin out. You know, so it's better to know where you're going, know those turns, and understand how to get from point A to point B without having those spin outs, without uh, getting yourself derailed. All right. Well, anyways, I'm so glad that you joined me, Anthony. Uh, I know that there's going to be some other people coming on in uh, a little bit later on and uh, taking a look at this. And hopefully the tips that I gave you tonight were ones that um, you know made you think a little bit further. And if you have any troubles with any of these, you know, I'd be willing to help at any time. Just, uh, again, put clear down at the bottom of this uh, ch uh, the chat or send me a message inside the group and uh, we'll uh, talk to you soon. I'll get right back to you. All right, it's good seeing you tonight, and we'll see you again next week. You know, I may end up starting to do these things a little bit more often, and, uh, you know, Thursday Night Live is going to be the thing, right? That's going to be the main one. But uh, coming, uh, you know, within the next few weeks, I may end up starting to do some other little uh, things, maybe even bring some people in to, uh, you know, join me. Uh, maybe Anthony wants to come and hang out, come up, talk about the, the, the Wonder Twin Powers. Right? Exactly. Uh, says Anthony says, we have determined the starting point. Love that. Yeah, buddy. Yep. You know where you're at. Anthony knows where he's at. He's been at this for a while. And, uh, you know, if you don't know where you're at, man, you just don't, you can't even figure out where you're going. Right? When somebody was like, uh, I was, I, Anthony, earlier I was mentioning, you know, going in athletics, right? We we visualized like I was a pitcher for years and I could there was people that were familiar batters that I could be when I was not even playing I could imagine myself pitching against them and I knew where I needed to throw the ball I knew where they where they would swing and miss and that way with that visualization with that understanding of where you're at then you're not surprised when you're in the game so let's not be surprised when we're in the game. Let's just continue to play the game and play with heart, play with conviction. And when, uh, when we get done with it all, we could be happy about the work we did, right? Yeah, buddy. Let's set the GPS. Yeah, daily. And then the DMO, right? We got the DMO. We got the GPS. And we're all set. The daily mode of operation. We know what we're going to do today. And tomorrow, that's another day. But most likely, we'll try to do the same thing. We're going to try to be good. We're going to try to be doing it with heart. And we're going to try to be uh, the best that we can be so that when we come to see people and serve them, they know that we're, we're the real deal and we're here to help. So, happy Thursday night. Anthony, I'll see you tomorrow on the calls. And uh, thanks again for joining me. And I sure do appreciate it. Come back Thursday night. Thursday nights, 5 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'm going to be here every week as long as the good Lord lets me.